This is Twit. Flo, I have your app installed. If you would like to talk about it, I'll show it off. Yes. So I have always been pretty dissatisfied with the Android app drawer just because I have a lot of apps installed on my phone. Phones have gotten bigger in size. And so there's plenty of room to install things and tools that you might need. But it's a pain to try and find things. And I don't like to have an overly crowded home screen. So what I did is I found this app called Launchboard, uh, colon, modern app drawer. That's what it says in the Play Store. Now, there's two ways that you can use this. You can pin the icon of the app into your main dock at the bottom so that it follows you on each home screen. Or you can load on the widget, which is uh, what you see here on the screen, effectively a keyboard. And let's say, okay, Jason, you need to find an app. So why don't you think of the first letter and just literally type the first letter? And that's it. Um, you do not type the name of the app because what's going to happen is the next letter you type will bring you the apps that start with that letter. It's This is literally all it is. Um, Launchboard just brings up the apps that are in that alphabetical category. You're not scrolling around if you don't want to. And uh, you can actually add favorites as you like. So, Jason, choose, Hangouts is, I'm sure, one of your favorite apps, right? Oh, it's amazing. Why long press I want you to long press on that one and um, then add it to your favorites. Okay. And Gladly. now uh, go ahead and exit out of that and then we'll show folks what happens. Yeah, it just, yep, there it, is. it just hangs oh. out there in the favorites. And that's it. And you can just add your favorites as you want. It's a great way to hide apps. If you want to hide apps, you know, for aesthetic purposes, you all know I'm really into like the aesthetics of my home screen. So this definitely aids in that, which I love. Um, And I also I also just love the relative simplicity of this. It's either widget or the app. And literally all it does is it just brings up the app that you're looking for. Um, I haven't fully dived into the settings menu um, because I've been pretty happy just with like the simplicity of how it works. Uh, But so far, so good. And the developer is updating this periodically, taking care of bug fixes. Um, There's also a theme engine, which I've yet to dive into so I can kind of get it to match the aesthetics. But overall, I mean, it's got, uh, I believe it was $1.99 because I paid for it. So I, I don't remember when I dropped the link into um, our spreadsheet, but it's $1.99. You're supporting a dev. It's it's super simple. So just launch board. Launch modern, board. Modern app drawer for modern people. Yeah, I, did, I didn't pay for an upgrade. So everything you okay. saw there was from the free version. Uh, but I'm looking in the settings to see if maybe there's a way to do that. Hmm. And the settings you can get to from uh, when you pop up the keyboard to look for an app. Right. You can also change the keyboard layout if, uh, you know, you prefer. You can choose which items to show so that you don't have to look at apps that you wish didn't exist. Um, you can also have contacts shown if that's something that uh, you want to add to, um, as well as call actions. I imagine the developer may add more things over time. Yeah. yeah. Nice. nice. That is Launchboard Modern App Drawer, or Draw, as Ron might say. Draw. Draw. There we go. Uh, <laughs> that's the right way to say it, of course. Draw. All right. I wish I had an accent. I just have... California, nothing. (laughs) Draw.